born and raised in Dearborn. Uh, I now live in Detroit. Um, a lot of my experiences and a lot of the people that are in my life just so happen to be Arab Americans. Uh, and uh, all of my extended family is very large. Uh, I'm from the south of Lebanon, so uh, almost all of us left in the 40s and 50s to get the kid out of the crazy mess that was going on that uh, Dr. Bawardi told you guys a little bit about. Um, so a lot of us have been here. Uh, I'm second generation myself. And so when more um, Arabs came later, um, a lot of times uh, they would be integrated into our family, marry into our cousins and things like that, and they would be you know, fresh off the boat. So that was something that you would often experience here in Dearborn. And uh, when you do that, when you, when you do see that, there's, there's a difference between you and them that you try to do your best to absorb um, and feel that kind of like homeland. And then when they themselves kind of reject it, you become confused. So this one is called At What Cost? When I was young, my cousin married Muhammad from Baalbak, big, strong, dumb, and happy in his newness, English scarce as was his caution, and always red-faced. He would exclaim fiercely, I am from the rock! Fourteen years passed and they have a comfortable suburban life, three children all in school. He works his own mechanic shop on Detroit's west side. At a party, I grab his rough hand for the depkin, and he pulls it away. With pale face, he says to me, I forget the depke. His English improved. I forget Baalbak. Um, okay, so this is a bit longer. I hope you will admonish me.